Hello guys, If Graphics here, bringing you another tutorial today. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about on how to make some simple glow effects. I have three effects that I want to show you. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color of my logo. So I'm going to go to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gradient overlay. The reason why I'm using a gradient overlay than just a color is to show you why I'm going to show you the last two <clears throat> glow effects. So I'm just going to use my web colors. I'm going to use that. The dark. And then I'm going to go to a lighter. Use that. I might go a little bit darker. around there okay and that seems about good go 120 on the angle <clears throat> now we have our gradient I'm gonna rasterize the layer I'm gonna make three different ones so we know that there's three different styles so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click double click it and I'm going to do an outer glow and we're just going to choose the brightest one and I'm just going to bring the size up now the reason why I don't like doing this is because <clears throat> all you get is the outside so what you're gonna do is you're going to inner glow and choose the same color that you did for the outer glow. And now it kind of blends in. Now it looks okay but it's still kind of weird. Because you have a dark spot over here, and then you have a light spot over here. And the reason why the other two work better is because you can easily change the color from the dark to the light on the glow. But if we go to our effects here, we can create layers. <clears throat> and now, we have our outer glow. And we have our inner glow. So I'm just gonna put my outer glow on the outside. I'm gonna I'm gonna release the clipping mask and I'm gonna turn it on. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the color that we took for the the uh, darker side so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to right click create clippy mask and I'm just gonna color it and I'm going to make it a hue and I'm gonna go on to the outer glow do the same thing create clippy mask hue or color no we're gonna want it normal and I'm just gonna change the opacity down some and we want this on normal too and we're gonna change the opacity down so now we have our little gradient effect onto our glow and then all we gotta do is we're just gonna merge down with that and I'm gonna merge that down and then we can change the opacity to whatever we feel like the glow should be so I'm just gonna change it to 35 <clears throat> so that's one way to do it I'm gonna make a group and just go put one right there put these into group one hide that now for the second part the reason why I like this one the most is because it's more accurate 
and we can and it doesn't take many steps as the first one so what we're gonna do is we're going to make a duplicate of the layer and we're going to go to filter and we're just going to give it a Gaussian blur and there we go now it's got its glow effect and all you gotta do is you can just adjust how much glow you want on it usually I keep it at 25 it looks good there and we're going to change this to a 35 Now comparing it to this, to that, it's still pretty good. It, it it keeps it easier and it's more accurate. <clears throat> Make a new group. So for the last one, we're not gonna be making any duplicates. We're just gonna make a new layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the brightest blue and we're gonna use a soft brush and we're gonna scale our brush down to wherever we like and I'm gonna click hold shift and I'm just going to go all the way around if I need a curve I'm just gonna curve it shift shift and there if there's anything that I need to add on to like so and we could do linear dodge and change the opacity down to about ten now the next thing we we want to do is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to get the darker blue again I think it was right yeah <clears throat> and we're gonna create a new we're gonna scale it up and we're just going to follow our path and create clipping mask and now we have the glow from the dark and the bright just merge that down and we can bring our opacity up if we want. And that's basically it. There's not really much more you can do. You got your first, your second, and your third, and you have your glow. So that's about it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. It's a really simple effect. It looks really great. I'd suggest using this one more more than anything, but really it's up to you. Do what you do. Do what you want to do to feel comfortable with your designs. If this is what you want to do, then go at it. But this is more quicker. It's more simpler, and quicker the better, I say. So that's about it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.